Okay, hey, it's Mr. Hessel. Um, I wanted to walk you through this FET Vector Edition sim uh, that we're gonna be using for our first lab. So when you search for it, you get this thing, this is Vector Edition, and click this uh, play arrow right here, and it will bring you, to load this up, and bring you to a menu where you can choose different options. Um, we're gonna start with Explore 1D. So if you click on that, um, then it brings you to a one-dimensional align, uh, a grid, but it's really just a line, it's one-dimensional, um, where you can drop in vectors, like if I pick up this vector here, A, I can drop in vector A, and by clicking the arrowhead, the, the tip of the vector, I can change A's length. I can make it positive, I can make it negative, I can send it back and forth, um, and then you notice up at the top, that uh, up here, it gives you the magnitude, the components, and the angle of that vector A. If I wanted another vector, um, like B, this guy, I could stick B in there as well, um, and I can change B, let's try and put B right on the origin like A is. And so here's B, here's A, let's see. Yeah, you might have to actually click A or B in order to activate uh, each one. And then if you want to see the sum of the two vectors, click the sum button. And there's our sum. You can have it on the grid or you can actually pick up the sum and move it elsewhere because you can move a vector anywhere. As long as the magnitude and direction is correct, um, then you can do that. Okay, so that is the horizontal grid. Uh, if you want to see the values, click values, but it's up to you. The values are also up at the top of the screen. Um, if you want a vertical grid, click the vertical grid, and it works exactly the same way. Um, they use different letters for the vectors, D, E, and F. I'm not really sure why, um, but there you go. So that's one dimensional. Now, if you're done with 1D, then go explore 2D. And so now we have two dimensions. We have the y-axis and the x-axis. Um, so you can drop vectors in there. Now, keep in mind that you could really, again, drop that vector anywhere, but I like to start it from the origin over here. Um, then if you want to drop another one in, you may. Here's vector B. You can put vector B on the tip of vector A as if you were doing tail-to-tip method or tip-to-tail. And keep in mind that these vectors are also adjustable. If you click on the arrowhead, you can put that vector wherever you like. Um, and it lands right on the grid. And you can see that as you change the vector, you change the components up here. It also records the angle it makes from the horizontal and it gives the magnitude of that vector. Um, if you wish to see the components, you can see components a number of different ways. You can see them like that as if it were tip to tail. You can see the components set up as if it were a parallelogram method. They even bump out the components if you wanna see them that way. Um, it's a different way of visualizing them, or not at all, up to you. Um, if you want to see the angles, they can click the angles to see what they actually are as measured from the horizontal. And then if you want the sum of the vectors, you can click sum. But for some reason, the sum, they just kind of drop it in there. They're like, oh, you want the sum? Boom, there it goes. They don't actually drop it in as if it were tail to tip. So I think as part of the lab, I ask you to take the sum vector and, and bring it back to the origin so you can actually see the effect of the tail to tip. Um, so just be aware of that. I don't believe, yeah, you can't. You can't change the length of the sum without actually changing the length of vectors A and B. Because um, it's the sum. It's, you know, you can't just mess around with it because it's actually representing the vector sum of A and B. Um, so that is the two-dimensional piece there. Um, and then the lab piece, if we click back and forth between 2D and lab, you can see that lab gives you a choice of two different colors of vectors, blue or orange, I'm not really sure why, um, but Explore 2D only gives you three vectors to work with, A, B, and C. You can't add another. The lab, you can drop in as many vectors as you like. So if you want to make a chain of more than three, then you want to be using the lab instead of the explore 2D feature. So yeah, if I wanted to kind of do something like this, one, two, three, four, um, and uh, then click sum, 
and there's the sum. And again, it just kind of drops it in randomly. So if you actually want to see, look at that. Nice tail-to-tip situation there. Um, and if you want to use orange instead, then be my guest. Um, it's one or the other. And then the equation piece, um, there are three different equations here. There's vector sum, straight up vector sum, A plus B equals C, which if you actually drag these in a tail to tip situation, you can see how they arrived at that, A plus B equals C. Um, then there's A minus B equals C. So like watch what happened there, all of a sudden C changed. That's one of the questions in the lab, like what was happening there, why the change? Um, and then you have this equilibrium situation where with A, B, and C, and it says that the three of them add up to zero. Um, and, uh, and we can actually see why that might be true. If I kind of set them up like so, or the, the classic setup is more like this. Why can't they let me? Oh, they're not letting me change A or B. I think I might have to do that up here. And that's another aspect I ask for that in the lab, where you can change the magnitude of A and B, you know, multiply them, and you can see how C responds in kind. Um, but yeah, in this situation right here, you have A plus B and C altogether equaling zero. C is what's called the equilibrant, um, which is equal in magnitude, but opposite in direction to the resultant of A and B. Um, it does not look like you can actually see what the sum of A and B is here. They don't give you that option. Um, so, but that's the final piece. And um, I hope that was useful. There are other aspects here, like playing with base vectors. Uh, that's more like components. You don't really need to worry about that. Um, but those are the different features and where everything can be found. Good luck with the lab. Um, email me if you have any questions. Bye.